Let me read y'all two things. So long. This is Ezekiel 35 and 41. This is most high talking to Esau slash Caucasians now. I will lay down thy lay I will lay thy cities down waste, and thy shall be de, uh, desolated, and thy shall know thy eyes of the Lord, because thy has a perpetual hatred. Now, who do a per perpetual hatred mean? Everlasting hatred. Uh, and I sheddeth the blood of the children of Israel, which is us, the blacks, the native, the real Native Americans, not the five dollar ones, and um, and Mexicans. Okay, so they have laid them down. I mean, that's who the the tribes are, according to the Bible. That's who the tribes are, and um, so this is what Esau did. This is Genesis chapter 38. Esau sat, said, Count of his father has died, but only one of blessing. Father, bless me, even me also of my father. And uh, Esau left, lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him. So I'm reading kind of crazy. I write like real sloppy because I'll be trying to get it all quick. So in this right here, he's asking him, uh, Jacob kind of stole the blessing, but the, he asked him, do he have a blessing for him? He said, bless me, even me also, oh, my father. And um, Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac has, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him. So this is what he said unto him. Be, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of the heavens from above, and by thy sword. And I get what he's saying by thy sword. They've been using that sword ever since. Shall thy live, Esau, hate Jacob, and the Caucasians hated the blacks and the Hispanics and the Native Americans. Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father is at hand, and I will slay my brother. The day that his father died, Isaac, that's when it started. The killing started, and it never stopped. Let me explain this to you. When the Most High said you got a perpetual hatred, that means you hate us now and forever. So whatever, and you will do anything to us not to look at us. You were mad about something. So it's a spirit that makes you that way. Um, and I, for the coons out here, it's going to come. Oh, all people don't, all YT people don't um, hate black people. Well, I'm going to explain this to you. It don't always come out at first. But when they have to pick, they're going to pick their own. So if you coming out cooning because you got a mixed family or whatever, that's fine. But understand this. This is why he tell you to stay within your tribe. When that day comes, you're going to have to pick. If you decide with them, you're going with them. And that's the thing. He tells you that in the Bible, too. If you side with them... And you want to be with them, you go right ahead. Because he talks about cooning basically in the Bible. Um, when he says certain things about Israelites that want to be with, um, with um, you know, um, you know, I, I got to watch my word. And, but y'all know what I mean. People that want to be with basically their oppressor, you go be with them. However they end up, you end up. Um, so that was an interesting learn that I had learned today. It was interesting. So when you say that we are the same, we are not. You have a perpetual hatred for us. And that is in chapter, let me get it again, because uh, y'all know y'all. Oh, so if you want to read Genesis uh, 38. Chapter 38, it talks about how you feel about us and how you are always going to feel about us. It's not going to change. That's exactly why I don't feed into a lot of stuff because it's a spirit. If you go on to read 
and you read, uh, it's a spirit that is set upon you. That's why y'all out practicing, because you want a race war. But what you don't understand is that you're not going to win. Because at the end, um, we don't even have to have any weapons. You understand that angels will help us fight, and you do not want that smoke. When the most high speaks something, that's it. That's it. So, you know, if you, know, I, if you can't understand that slavery and all that stuff had to do with how you really feel about us and how you don't have no compassion for us, please don't ask us for compassion when the most high start on his. When he start his reign, because it's coming. You know why? Because it's not us pushing that. It's you. You want to fight. But you don't understand, we are not the fighters, honey. And that war, that war coming from, um, it's going to be spoken. And it's going to be people in that war that you can, that you will be able to see that you will not be able to hurt. So, um, that's funny, but it's okay. Uh, see y'all later.